some members of the team that was sent to Istanbul to kidnap and then to kill Khashoggi were trained in the United States. Not trained to do this operation, but trained in special operations and other skills. I found that our intelligence agencies have put out a warning that some of this training may have been done by an Arkansas-based company called Tier One Group. I found that another company called Culpeper National Security Solutions, which is owned by a larger company called DynCorp, which in turn is owned by a larger company called Cerberus Capital Management, has been working for the last several years to develop a program to train and modernize the Saudi intelligence service. That project was put on hold. The person who had been chairman of Culpeper, Michael Morell, a former acting director of the CIA, withdrew from the project within days after Khashoggi's death because of his questions about the course of Saudi Arabia. This is an incestuous world. The co-chief executive of Cerberus Capital Management is a man named Stephen Feinberg, who is also, in his spare time, the chairman of the President's Intelligence Advisory Board, which is the most senior oversight and counseling body that looks at all the activities of U.S. intelligence. I was told that Feinberg had divested all of his interests in companies owned by Cerberus that are involved in defense or intelligence matters before the Khashoggi killing. There's no connection there. But his role in this raises interesting questions about how our intelligence agencies are overseen.